Hey, everybody, great to have you with me this morning. I believe that our mornings together, something deep and powerful is going to take place on the inside of you, going to break free from the things that hold you back, especially in this sensitive area of dealing with succeeding in life, increasing in life, moving ahead in career, finances, uh, etc. So whatever area, uh, I believe that's going to help you to tell your friends about it. And today I want to dive in to 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 9. It says, for you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. So that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that through his poverty you might become rich. <laughs> like there's some pretty wild verses in the Bible. And I actually quoted this one time to a pastor, and he goes, That's not in the Bible. I said, well, you better recognize, well, it's not talking anyway about finances. Well, the entire chapter is talking about finances. So it just played with his head. He was raised in a real poverty mentality. Now, the word rich in the Greek means to be increased with goods, okay? Physical goods. In those days, it could be more sheep, more goats. It could be more bags of oats. It just means it could be money. It could be gold. It could be silver. Uh, it just means an increase in goods. And people say, well, that is talking about when you get to heaven. Actually, that's not true. There are so many things uh, that we've been lied to. Religion has lied to it. No wonder people are leaving churches in droves. Now, there's lots of churches as well that are just growing and flowing, but there is such an abundance of people leaving religious churches who try to control you, limit you, uh, think that poverty and sickness is, is the godly way to go, don't succeed, God's not in success, a bunch of craziness uh, that is just religion. So when we look at this issue of Jesus became poor, that we could become rich, you could use that in some areas, like Jesus left heaven. Okay, you can't get any more uh, successful than walking the streets of heaven. Um, so he left there and he came to this planet. Uh, and so that's becoming poor compared to what he had up there. But then again, in heaven, there was no crying. There was no, uh, there was no unhappiness. There's no attacks against people. He, every tear is dried. So Jesus came from this incredible place of joy and happiness to a place of such heartache and sickness and disease and demonic oppression and evil people hurting one another and, and a Roman empire dominating and killing uh, you know, all these people. So he left a place of a blessing and security and peace and laughter and etc. And he became poor so that we might become rich. And it doesn't just mean money there. It is talking about this entire area of uh, now that we are on this planet, when we give our life to Jesus, we can live in the kingdom of God. One of the things I like to tell people is that if you work for the Canadian embassy, and they put you in a poor country where there's not enough food, not enough drinking water. Uh, when you go there, wherever you live at the Canadian embassy, that's Canadian soil. Uh, to attack the Canadian embassy is to declare war. And now they will bring in Canadian water if the water there is no good. They will bring in Canadian food. You don't live based on the country that you're in. If the country is all grass huts and tents, they're still going to build a style of house that is equal to what is going on in Canada. A Canadian style of home, a Canadian style of food, a Canadian style of, uh, you know, everything. So that even when it comes to entertainment and all the things, you know, they got satellite, they're going to beam in what's going on in Canada. When we as believers live on this planet, okay, the Bible says we are ambassadors. Okay. It just tells us we are ambassadors for Christ. So while we're on this planet, it says that we can live in the kingdom of God. Thessalonians says, uh, for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. I mean, to walk right with God in this sense of clean and, and happiness, and then to have his peace, to have his joy in, in your everyday life is something that we can have 
down here even though we are not in heaven. So I hope you're keeping track of all the verses that I give you each morning because this one is Jesus became poor so that we could become rich. And again, just look it up. People who don't believe it, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. And whenever we start teaching these verses, you need to write them down and you need to make it a part of your meditation and a part of your confession by yourself. Speak these verses out loud and, and begin to think about them. Begin to see how they would affect your life. Begin to see your life um, succeeding and winning. Begin to recognize you're so blessed that when stuff comes against you, you're going to just break free, that nothing can stop the favor, the blessing of God that is on your life. It's not enough to just read it once. You need it every verse. In fact, every day as I keep teaching you these things, begin to accumulate all these verses and just have a great enjoyment in the morning before you go off to work and whatever you're doing, just begin to declare these verses over your life and they will begin to get deep into your heart. They'll begin to take root as Jesus taught us in Mark 4 and they're going to make a change to what you believe and because your future's in your heart, your heart begins to attract and release the incredible blessing of God. All right, Tell somebody uh, about this. Whatever platform that you're joining us from, be sure to share with others because I know it's going to help them and be a blessing to them too. Do that right now.